Hello, and welcome to Read With Me. Thank you for joining us today. Please subscribe for more stories. Today we are going to read Little Bo Peep Can't Get to Sleep by Erin Dealey. Little Bo Peep can't get to sleep. She kicked her blankets in a heap. Try counting sheep, her mother said, but Bo Peep lay awake instead. Peep's tummy hurt, her headache too. She wasn't sure just what to do. She couldn't count her sheep, you see. She didn't know where they could be. She'd counted them in the meadow that day, just before they ran away. Then Little Boy Blue went and blasted his horn to scare the cows away from the corn. The cows didn't budge. They were too full. But the sheep were frightened right out of their wool. My sheep, cried Peep to her brother Blue. Boy Blue replied, what did I do? She'd asked the farmer in the dell and Jack and Jill up by the well. No one had seen her missing sheep. A wolf might get them, worried Peep. Humpty Dumpty climbed his wall. Careful, Peep said. Please don't fall. I see some pigs, he said with a smile. Go home. I'll stay and look for a while. Peep met a troll along the way. Who dares to cross my bridge today? Mr. Troll, have you seen my sheep? Only goats. He snarled at Peep. Don't tell Mom, warned Little Boy Blue. You'll be in trouble if you do, Peep said. My flock will be home soon. Blue laughed. (laughs) When cows jump over the moon. Dad tucked Peep in with a goodnight kiss. It's past your bedtime, Little Miss. She had to tell them about her sheep. Mommy, Dad, began Bo Peep. A giant's underneath my bed, was the tale she told instead. I think he slid down Jack's beanstalk. Hush, said Dad. That's only talk. Good night, said Daddy with a yawn. Peep worried that her sheep were gone. Close your eyes, my sleepy daughter. Please, Peep asked. May I have some water? She whispered to the rising moon. I'll run away with the dish and the spoon. What should I do? Hey, diddle diddle, tell mom and dad, or listen to Blue. Moon gave a wink as if to say, your sheep are safely home to stay. And Peep looked down to see her flock as Humpty ambled down the block. Still, little Bo Peep felt very lost. Instead of sleeping, she turned and tossed. Mommy, rub my back, she asked. I'm sure to fall asleep at last. Mommy rubbed until it seemed. Bo Peep slept. Bo Peep dreamed. But as Mom tiptoed from Peep's bed, I lost my sheep, a little voice said. They're home again. Moon told me so. I just wanted you to know. Peep felt better. Are you mad? Next time, tell us sooner, said Dad. Moon shined brightly on the town, where Wee Willy Winky ran up and down. Little Boy Blue was fast asleep, and Peep could finally count her sheep. She didn't hear the fiddler cat's tune, nor see the cows jump over the moon, for Little Bo Peep was soon asleep, without a worry, without a peep. Thank you for joining us today. Please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can be notified every time we upload a new story.